Naturally, people see time as an event that goes and then is gone. That's probably how you see it, being someone who hasn't thought of time in this kind of manner before. But then, then there's those people in the world, you know, who think that time is infinite. All that bull that time takes place in a flat circle and time is endless because it keeps reverting back to the same place it started at. If you want to know why that's all bull, because time can end in an instant. Say you die. Say you die and time is over for you. It doesn't restart. It doesn't keep going. Time is dead. Just like that philosopher guy said, God is dead or whatever. Well, he got it wrong. Time is dead. If you were still alive today, you'd know that by now. Timing is everything. But time, nothing. But wait, you just said time was everything, but before you said time was nothing. A little backwards, don't you think? No, no, you're not getting it. Here, take this mint for example. Yeah, but I like those mints. It tastes like winter. Okay, focus. Take this mint. This mint is a symbol of all the people who think time is a continuous flat circle. Now take my theory, that time is dead when its day comes. See? Time is dead. No more time. But there you go again. You just said time was dead, but before you said time was everything. No, timing. Timing is everything. Just because time is dead doesn't mean timing isn't important. Without timing, people just show up late for things. People need time in their lives so they feel as if they're important. People need time so they feel that time isn't dead. Kind of like how time is money? No, not exactly. Hey man, you want another drink? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess timing isn't so important after all. What do you mean? Well, before you said timing is everything. It's obviously not that important if you're spending it all day at the bar. Just the drink is fine. Trust me, man. Timing is everything. Hey there. Avery, right? Uh, I've heard a lot about you. A lot. Uh, good things, though. Yeah, all, all good. Okay, uh, well, my name's Wes. Wes Jenner. Uh, may I sit? It's uh, cold out today. Uh, a lot colder than yesterday. Yesterday was colder. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't have a chance to check the weather. So I'm downtown yesterday, and I, I go to the corner store. Uh, it's the only, the only nice one uh, in the area. It's on the corner of Seventh and Crater. I overhear the owner talking to someone. And he says that a uh, funny looking fella came in yesterday. A funny looking fella? Yeah. Funny looking. Uh, really funny looking. Funny looking how? Uh, he didn't say. Then how do you know he was funny looking? Well, uh, the, well the, owner, you know, the owner told me. I thought the owner was talking to someone else. He was. Uh, but I was right there, so it was like he was talking to me too. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, he's saying that. Uh, the guy who came in, he robbed the place blind. Not only that, but a group of funny looking fellas hit all the stores in the area at the same time. They robbed everywhere in five minutes flat. Uh, they didn't even have time to react, basically. Oh yeah? Yeah, and uh, that got me thinking. You're the owner here, right? Well, uh, you're pretty close to the stores that were robbed. Uh, did these funny looking guys happen to make their way in here? Nope. I would have heard about that. Well, that's amazing, don't you think? What's that? Well, you know, I mean, hitting all these stores so close to you, that's, that's a pretty big gamble. That's what gamblers do it for. The bigger the gamble, the bigger the reward. Unless this wasn't a gamble at all. How so? Well, maybe this uh, group of funny looking fellas knew they weren't going to get caught, but it made it a whole lot easier to do it and get away with it. How do you think they wouldn't get caught? Well, I have a theory that uh, they're under some leadership working for some higher power. 
That's a pretty interesting theory. How'd you come up with that? Uh, excuse me. Yes, sir, what can I get you? How about a coffee for myself and uh, actually a rye? Rocks glass, neat. Can I get anything uh, for yourself there? I'm fine with the coffee. Thank you, Jimmy. Right away there, guys. So, Mr. Oh, Jenner. Uh, Wes Jenner. So, Wes, I'm curious. How'd you come up with this interesting theory? Well, that's uh, an interesting story. Um, I got some uh, really good insider information. Where's the money, Avery? Donovan, make sure our friend here doesn't get too trigger happy. Sorry, friend. I think the drink will be all Jimmy. Yeah, that'll be all Jimmy. Now then, where was that money? I have no idea what you're talking about, friend. We're not friends. Wes? I have no idea what you're talking about. I think everyone in here knows that's bullshit. You organized the job. That's why everyone who was in on the job let the store owners know who was robbing them so they couldn't do a damn thing about it. Or else you'd kill them. Me and Dom both know this. So where is the money? Who told you? What? Who told you I did it? I told you. The store owner told me. Yeah, but who told you that I did it? That doesn't matter. I think it does. I think you two morons are going on a hunch that I stole the money and hid it here. I don't know how you would come to that, but... We got an anonymous tip, okay? They said the money's here. So where is it? I can't give it to you. Give me the money, Avery. Listen to me, I can't. Give me the money or I'm going to blow your brains out. You know what? I think I need that drink now, Jimmy. <laughs>